welcome friends this is dr prashant patel jain college of engineering belagavi please subscribe my channel press the bell icon so that you get the notifications like the video comment and share welcome friends in this video i am going to evaluate or how to identify how to apply the l hospital rule i am going to discuss here first of all indeterminate forms what are the indeterminate forms if an expression f of x at x equal to a takes the forms like it if it is a 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity or 0 into infinity or infinity by infinity infinity minus infinity 0 raised to 0 infinity raised to 0 1 raised to infinity these seven forms which does not represent any value okay 0 by 0 does not have any value this infinity by infinity like that all these seven does not represent any value such forms are known as indeterminate forms when if x in f of x if it is replaced by x. For, say for example x square minus a square divided by x minus a in this if i put x equal to a what happens here a square minus a square divided by a minus a then it becomes 0 divided by 0 it is taking 0 by 0 it has not meaning it therefore this is in the form of 0 by 0 i can call this as f of x is equal to at x equal to a this is happening such forms are known as indeterminate forms here okay then how to evaluate them to evaluate them we are using the l hospital rule what is my l hospital rule then if f of x and g of x are any two functions such that their functional values at x equal to a or limit as x tends to a f of x equal to 0 as well as limit as x tends to 0 as x tends to 0 g of x is equal to 0 that is means at x equal to a and in this both f of a and g of a are equal to 0 and one more thing important is f dash of their derivatives first derivative f dash of x and g dash of x exists derivative exists as well as g dash of a is not equal to 0 then limit as x tends to a f of x divided by g of x means it is taking 0 by 0 form then its limit i can write it as f dash of x divided by g dash of x this is nothing but our l hospital rule f dash of x and g dash of x exist and g dash of a is not equal to 0 in such cases we can apply this same thing can be extended for second order also that means if again f dash of a and both g dash of a are equal to 0 means at a x equal to a then we can write limit as x tends to a f of x divided by g of x equal to limit as x tends to a f double dash of x divided by g double dash of x again if f double dash of a equal to 0 and both g double dash of a equal to also 0 then it can be extended for f triple dash of x divided by g triple dash of x like that it can continue this is our l hospital rule here what i can form here l hospital rule i can apply if it is a 0 by 0 form okay now l hospital rule also can be applied for infinity by infinity form also as what you can say this is let me call it as a first note and second note okay when we can apply the l hospital rule okay say if limit as x tends to a f of x divided by g of x okay is equal to i can write it as a limit as x tends to a 1 divided <coughs> by g of x divided by 1 divided by f of x i can write correct set for at x equal to and this is where our uh, say f of x is tending to plus or minus infinity and g of x also tending to plus or minus infinity then if you write like this then also it becomes in 0 by 0 form then also we can apply the l hospital rule then also we can apply l hospital rule therefore when we can apply all l hospital rule then okay therefore l hospital rule l hospital rule is applicable 
applicable only for the indeterminate forms for the indeterminate forms 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity for only for these two forms I can apply L hospital rule means we can convert any function into 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity then we can apply this L hospital rule the examples on this L hospital rule and simple example of 0 by 0 infinity by infinity 1 raised to infinity all those things I am going to solve here in my next videos before that what are the indeterminate forms you have to remember 0 by 0 infinity by infinity 0 into infinity infinity minus infinity 0 raised to 0 and 0 infinity raised to 0 1 raised to infinity all are our indeterminate forms and before solving the examples we have to remember our uh, basic formula that is we know that for the limits okay first one limit as x tends to 0 sin x divided by x is equal to 1 like that limit as x tends to 0 x divided by sin x is also equal to 1 limit as x tends to 0 similarly for tan also it is the same these formula I am going to use while solving the examples here second one limit as x tends to 0 tan x divided by x also equal to 1 whereas limit as x tends to 0 x divided by tan x also equal to 1 like this using this formula I am going to solve the examples here okay in my next video if you want to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that we get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends